Welcome back everybody. So today we will be starting micro operation and design of arithmetic logic unit. So today we will be starting design of CPU. So the main part of CPU is ALU. Okay. And it is used for process. It is used for processing different instructions. And the different registers CPU is. So CPU contains of many things called registers like PC, program counter, instruction register and there are many more so I will explain all of this in this video. So this is how the design of a CPU looks like. So this is the, like the register part right here, there is a system bus and the input output module is always there the, like the monitor, or the keyboard something like this and the main memory. Okay. So the first register is, so the first one is AC or accumulator. Okay. So it is like the most frequently used register. It stores one of the operand before processing. So stores operand before processing. So you need to remember this important keyword. Okay. So next we have general purpose register. So general. So it is used to store data and the intermediate results. So storing of data and intermediate intermediate results okay so it has like r i it is denoted by r i okay where r is positive integers okay it is always positive next we have special purpose registers so special purpose registers contains like almost seven registers so the first one suppose i'm writing that's a pc or program counter so program counter is used to store the address of the next instruction that is to be executed so address of next instruction to be executed so this is important you remember this one right next we have instruction register or ir so it stores the instructions that is the operation code so it basically stores the operation code okay that is currently being executed so currently being executed okay so next we have stack pointer or sp stack pointer okay so it holds the address of the top element of the memory stack so address address of the top element of the memory stack next we have br that is known as base register so it stores the starting address of the memory stack so starting address of memory stack okay next we have mar that is known as memory address register so it holds the address of the data address of the data that is to be retrieved from the main memory so retrieved from main memory that is to be retrieved from the main memory okay from here that what whatever the address is to be stored or the data's address it is retrieved so like it, it comes here and then it goes here okay so next we have mbr or memory buffer register so it holds the data item it holds the data item that is to be retrieved from the main memory so in main memory we will use the direct register that is located near the processor okay so it works very fast so mbr now finally we have our sr that is known as status register or another name for it is PSW PSW that is known as program status word so program status word okay so what it does it basically holds the flag which tells about the status so flag that tells us about the status of the currently executing program currently executing programs so whatever 
program is being executed currently that it stores the flag value of it so these were basically the different types of registers present in cpu or the design of cpu so if you had any problem just comment below and if you did like the video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos so thanks for watching it Call